Hi guys, this is Miss Gold. Today's lesson is Module 2, Lesson 4, Understanding Subtraction of Integers and Other Rational Numbers. Your outcomes for today are students justify the rule for subtraction. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Students relate the rule for subtracting to the integer game, removing or subtracting a positive card changes the score in the same way as adding a corresponding negative card. Removing or subtracting a negative card makes the same change as adding the corresponding positive card. Finally, students justify the rule for subtraction for all rational numbers from the inverse relationship between addition and subtraction. For example, subtracting a number and adding it back gets you back to where you started. So let's take a look at example one. And what's happening in this example is essentially you're seeing different rounds of the integer game. So let's just kind of go through and look at what occurred here. In round one, the student started with a score of 12. They selected a card with a value of three. And so the result was a score of 15, meaning the score increased by three. Their second action was to discard a card with a value of 10, the result being a score of five, meaning the score decreased by a total of 10. So I want you to actually pause the video and take a minute to look through rounds two, three, four, and then the final result being five for that student. So let's take a look at some of the patterns that we're seeing here. Question one says, how did selecting positive cards change the value of your hand? So let's go through and kind of look at selecting some positive cards. Um, here we have selecting a three. And in that case, we saw that it increased the value. Number two says, how did selecting negative card values change the value of your hand? So in this case, we want to look for selecting negatives. And we have a couple of those instances. So we have selecting negative one, selecting negative seven. And you'll notice in both of these cases, selecting a negative decreases the value of your score. Number three, it says, how did discarding positive value cards change the value of your hand? So let's look for some cases where we discarded a positive. And we have two of those cases, discarding 10 and discarding 4. And you'll notice in both of those cases, it resulted in a decrease of the score. Number four says, how did discarding negative cards change the value of your hand? So we're discarding negatives. Okay, I see a discard negative two here and a discard a negative seven here. And you'll notice it actually ended up increasing that score. So let's look back at some of our observations. Number five says, what operation reflects selecting a card? So if we look through, if we're selecting a card, really we're adding. If we were to discard a card, we're really looking at subtracting. So that really answers five and six. Number seven says, based on the game, can you make a prediction about what will happen when? Subtracting a positive integer. So if we look at our observations here, when we subtract, that's really discarding a positive. So if we look at some of our cases here, discarding a positive will end up decreasing your answer. subtracting a negative integer. So we're talking about discarding a negative. So looking at our cases here where we discarded a negative, it actually ended up increasing the score. So subtracting a negative increases the score. Okay, let's take a look at example two. So we have two cards in our hand, four and two. And so we know four and two would have a value of six. 
let's actually show what this would look like on a number line. So we know we're going to start at zero, move up four, and from there I'm going to continue on two more units and that leaves me at a value of six. So this is something that we've seen in many of our previous lessons. With part B, what we're now going to do is actually discard the positive two. So if I discard a positive two, I know that my value was at six, but what it's going to do now is decrease. So let's actually do this on the number line first. So we start at zero and I go to four. From four, we then had a card value of two so we're at six, but if I'm going to discard that two, it's going to bring me back to four for my final position. So notice that did exactly what we expected it to do. It decreased the score because I discarded or subtracted a positive value. On the other hand, what if we add on another card? So in this case, we're gonna start at zero. We go up four units. From there, we are going to increase another two units for the positive two, but then we have a card in which we picked up and it has a negative value. So in this case, we're going to also decrease. And this also leaves us at a value of four. So take a moment, maybe you might wanna pause the video and look at how these have the same effect. So we have taking away a positive value is the same thing as adding a negative value. So let's just summarize that. Removing, which we said is subtracting. A positive card changes the score in the same way as adding a card whose value is the additive inverse. Now that may be a new term to you. Additive inverse is basically saying the opposite or opposite sign. So let's just give a little um, extra example here. So if I have a value of 5, the additive inverse to that would be a negative 5. And really the point of additive inverse is that if you add the two numbers together, you would get 0. So this is our additive inverse right here. Um, another example might be if I had negative 1 half, the additive inverse to that would be 1 half, giving us a result of 0. That's really what the additive inverse means. So it's really just the opposite sign. In this case, adding the corresponding negative would finish off our sentence here. OK, let's take a look at example three. So we're going to start with a card value of four. So we'll move from zero to four. And then we're going to have a card value of negative two. So from four, I need to go down two units. And this leaves us with a final result of 2. If I look at part B, I'm starting again with a card value of 4. And then I have a card value of negative 2, so we're going down 2 again. But then what I'm doing is I'm taking away that negative. So if I take away the negative, the value is going to go back up again. So here, our final result is going to be a 4. So notice it increased the value for the final result. If we take a look at the other example here, we have 4. So I go up 4 units. Then from there, I'm going to go down 2 units because I have a card of value of negative 2. But then I also have a third card that has a value of positive 2. And so again, you're seeing that it has the same effect. So in this case, we're just dealing with having a negative card and taking it away. Taking away a negative increased the score. Um, the opposite of that would be our second example here, where we added a positive is also going to increase the score. So those are similar as well. So our conclusion here is removing or subtracting.
A negative card changes the score in the same way as adding a card whose value is the additive inverse And we already talked about what that is. Or opposite, in this case, adding the corresponding positive. So everything that we've seen in this lesson really comes together with one rule, the rule of subtraction. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its additive inverse or opposite. So if you are looking at subtraction, what they're saying is you can change it to addition by simply taking the sign of the second value and changing it to its opposite or its additive inverse. In this lesson, you have learned the rule for subtraction. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Removing or subtracting a positive card changes the score in the same way as adding a corresponding negative card. Removing or subtracting a negative card makes the same changes as adding the corresponding positive card. And for all rational numbers, subtracting a number and adding it back gets you where you started. So if we take m and subtract n and then add n back in, you're still going to end up with m.